What is some of the equipment that you that you use to, to do your research? <laughs> we, we use uh, quite a few different uh, things. We have EMF detectors, which measure electromagnetic fields. We We've actually made contact with these devices where yeah, we when the entities come close to it, they set them off. Um, we we have everything talking. from uh, low-test gauzmeters, which are they're just uh, a, a needle, and, and they make they kind of got a squawking noise to the uh, what is the new one? K two meter. K two meter. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, temperature guns, which are digital. They give us uh, ambient air temperature that is around us, and we have lasers that we can point out with them and, and get a contact to figure out if we're we're dealing with a cold spot or if it's just a you know. A, win a window. Where do you buy your gear and, you know, that's yeah. sort of where what people picture. So. Electronic stores. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so these a, devices are used for other things, but you yeah. use them. Yeah. Nothing's really made for what we do. No. And how, when people are asking you to come help them, mm -hmm. and if, if it is truly something paranormal and you've identified that, how are you helping them? Do they just find peace that there's an answer to some noise they've been hearing or some wind that they've been feeling? What are, what are you giving them? They're not crazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right out the gate. The this. biggest thing is you're going to think, the, every email I've ever gotten from anybody that needs um, an investigation or just somebody to talk to um, has asked me, you're going to, or said to me, you're going to think I'm crazy, but, yeah. you know, it's, it's always that first line. And I write back, um, excuse me, you know, I'm a paranormal investigator, and you don't think that's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, so. They have a point. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us an example of something that you were able to actually capture with your equipment and what it, describe it a little bit for us? Okay. We captured a anomalous event at a place called Georgetown Castle here in Seattle. And... It was captured on the stairwell between the first and second floor. Well, the story is that there's a woman by the name of Sarah who still remains in the house, and she pushes people on those stairs. Hmm. The, the stationary camera was focused on the stairs, and we captured the, what looks like, gosh, like almost starts like a ball and then opens up and then closes. But the fascinating part about that is this thing, it starts pulsating, comes up to the camera, and then moves back away, and yeah. then goes over and dissipates into a wall. Basically. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, do you two make a living off of being paranormal investigators? Hmm. No, no, I'd probably be on the corner selling pencils if I did that. <laughs> so why are you doing it? Yeah. To help people, mm -hmm. flat out. There, There's nothing to be gained doing this. So. When it stops being fun, that's when we'll quit doing it. I mean, it's mostly for the research end of it, but if there's if you don't throw in that little bit of goofy moments, you know, it, uh, like scaring each other, you know, we do that. <laughs> do you? <laughs> yes. Well, it, it gets real serious, and when it gets too serious, you <laughs> got to do something. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Scare for a do that in the dark. Well, that was great getting a chance to talk to Russ and Sandy and hearing from their perspective what it's like to be a paranormal investigator. Yes, it was. I learned was. a lot. Me too. Did you? I learned a lot today, and I have to admit that the skeptic in me was definitely there from the beginning, but actually talking to them and hearing their story and their experiences, I kind of realized that, ah, they're very genuine people, and they, they're doing their passion, and they're helping people, which I think is the most important thing to get out of this today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so we just want to thank Stephanie who gave us this show idea. She worked with us as our virtual producer. Thanks, Steph. Thank you, Stephanie. And we hope the rest of you, if you have any show ideas, get a hold of us and let us know what you want to see. And we'll see you next week or whenever you decide to watch the show. Yep. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. <laughs>